-hmm. Here we go, new new phone. Over here at Ursula Plaza. New Jersey time. That's where we're at, New Jersey. Guarantee you, you'll never have a time like you have when you're in New Jersey. The Jersey time. <laughs> and, man, New Jersey Exposed been banging him out. <laughs> and I'm telling you, he really, oh man, he really lights a match under those uh, liberals and bootlickers' butts. Oh, holy miracle, it's funny as hell. Oh, Jesus. And, and then who is it? Monmouth County Prosecutor's Office puts up some kind of a police appreciation day thing. And there was two people in there that was firing off uh, article after article. Not, not on their own. They're just cutting and pasting recent articles. Cops killing people, shooting dogs, uh, uh, preying on people, child pornography, theft, drugs. Uh, you name it, they, and they got it all, all in in this uh, state. Not saying it's as bad as some states, uh, but for what it is, New Jersey's a real crap hole, uh, full of liberals, and uh, <laughs> people. Uh, you can't take my picture without my permission. Just like the script. If you want to see the script. Go over to uh, uh, Johnny Five O. He puts up with a lot of that garbage. I'm telling you, he puts up with a lot of that garbage. Uh, go over to uh, uh, Disorderly Product News or uh, Ebor City Rob in Tampa. He puts up with a lot of that crap. Holy mackerel! Uh, New Jersey Exposed is more or less involved in. Uh, uh, accountability and just showing you what's actually happening not what you're being told to believe this is what's happening that's it <laughs> you know, you're either in the here or now or you're not and from what I see in uh, uh, some of the comments in there just most of these people ain't even in the here or now so Anyway, I just wanted to check this out, see how this was working. The, it looks the, uh, incredibly clear. I don't know how the audio is. Uh, it zooms in and out real nice. Real nice. And every one of these places, every one of these. Excellent, 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 excellent. The only thing I got to... Uh, gripe about is uh, F Nagel bagels, cash only. If you're so interested in this damn disease, oh, and that ice cream place. Got the door bolted, and oh, oh, you stand there and order your ice cream. Yeah, okay. What the hell is that? The first national bank or an ice cream parlor? Now, these, these people are so into, uh, uh, you know, the disease and stuff like that. You handle money. You handle them credit cards. How do you know that credit card ain't been in some male stripper's crack? Huh? You don't. And I tell you what, here's something else. It hit me going all over the place again. Here's something else. You know, that's a very nice Harley. I saw it roll in here. Very, very nice. Uh, you know the troublemakers. They're the ones that wake up in the morning with their masks on. <laughs> they really... They wake up in the morning with their mask on. They go to bed with the mask on, and they're in love with that mask. They're in love with it. And that show, that to me says uh, issues with uh, uh, self-confidence and all of that crap. <laughs> because you, why are you hiding your face? Why? Look at this, man. We're, we're out in the middle. Here, I get up. I get up. And the windmill, always, 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 always excellent. Always excellent. Good. We're back down to that. Look at this. How the hell are you going to catch a goddamn disease out here, huh? What are you going to do? You're going to you're going to lick the rims or the garbage pails or or lick the doorknobs? 
Come on. Get right. And, and let me tell you something. Out of anybody, out of anybody you know, I got the worst luck of anybody. 9-11 almost took my life. I happened to be in the right place at the right time. I happened to be in the hospital right across the bay from the uh, towers having a uh, kidney procedure done and they ruptured my kidney and just cut me off. Oh, yeah, no, no problem, no problem. And I kept telling hey, something ain't right. Started bleeding to death, literally. Long story short, I needed two two units of whole blood uh, to repair the damage while a trade center was coming down. So I was considered collateral damage. I was non-essential. I was non everything. So for me, having a kidney procedure done, I, back to the point. And anybody that would drop dead or get screwed, stabbed in the back, it would be me. So, and, and when all of this uh, stuff came up, the bologna virus stuff, I was scared as hell. Well, I had never had an attack of hay fever like I had that season. Even this season, I didn't get bombed with it. So, that was a very scary time. I was all ready to cash in the chips, as it were. See? How the fuck? How the hell? Look, you didn't catch it. And yet I see people. There's people driving down this highway with masks on. Pretty fucking screwy. And there's people that don't believe that this virus wasn't somehow manipulated. Whether it was solely created or manipulated by humans to have the effect it had, I don't know. Will we ever get to the bottom of it? And maybe sometime in the distant future we might. But today, a lot of our times are being taken up. documenting things as they are my stupid silly ass life and again this is just a matter of necessity and if it wasn't for New Jersey Exposed I wouldn't have been not, I'm not saying he's responsible he was the one that says hey man you know everybody's got a point of view uh, go ahead put your point of view up there don't be afraid go ahead that's, that's from New Jersey Exposed so a smart man. He's insightful. He's way the hell better with the computers than I am. And I think he deals with the shitheads better than I do. I just can't handle it. I'll tell you. The, I, I tell you what. I'll tell you the story about the Long Branch police, and they were just at my apartment two weeks ago, banging on the damn door again. Oh. Oh, we just want to see if you're all right. We just want to see if I'm all right. You got a warrant? No. Then I ain't got to say a fucking thing to you. Oh, we're just here to see if you're all right. Hey, fuck yourself. I see, if you don't have a warrant, I don't have to talk. I said, right now, we're talking Fifth Amendment. I don't have to fucking answer shit. Oh, we're just here to see if you're all right. <laughs> That's just all right. Now you're violating my Fourth Amendment right. Now you're violating my Fourth Amendment, so get the fuck out of here. Oh, boy, boy, boy. <laughs> we'll see if you're all right. These Long Branch police are some Kevlar-coated turds. And that's all there is to it. Back to the story. I'm in the hospital. It was, uh, I think it was mischief night a couple years back. 
both my legs had swelled up like tree trunks. I couldn't move anymore. I sustained a lot of uh, back injuries in my day. And uh, ambulance picks me up at the apartment, brings me over to Monmouth Medical Center. And uh, the emergency room technician saw me immediately. Hey, the top female doctor in the emergency room comes over. Oh, we're gonna take some x-rays. And she could see that by the size of my, that was not normal. And, and I mean, not normal in any sense of the way. It's never happened to me before. Of course, I'm gonna panic. So, uh, she takes some x-rays and I mean, they pushed me through there pretty quickly so that I didn't have to suffer because she wanted, she wanted to do something proactive, which she did. Very nice lady. So, they give me two shots of morphine and they have one of the emergency room technicians come over and bandage both my legs from my toes uh, compression bandages up over the top of my knees to get some of the swelling down. And she tells me, she goes, oh, we're, we're going to have, uh, we're going to take you out to the waiting room and we're arranging for a ride to, to get you home. Wow. Holy mackerel, this lady really is nice. Can't believe it. Not used to getting treated like that. So, get me all bandaged up, move me out into the uh, waiting room. No sooner than I get the, the doors in the emergency room closed behind me and the, uh, I get into the waiting room, these two asshole security guards, oh, you got to get out of here. What? Remember, I got two shots of morphine in me. What the hell are you talking about? I got to get out of here. Just came out of there. Look at me. All I have, I'm not, listen, I'm not wearing a tuxedo. I'm in a hospital gown. That's how they pick me up. They picked me up like that, treated me in the hospital, and I sat in the waiting room in a hospital gown. No clothes, nothing, my hospital gown. Not a bother, it's a hospital. There's times when you throw modesty to the wind. And that's usually in an emergency. So, they're still giving me shit out in the waiting room. And I'm new to this area. And I, man, I hated this area as soon as I seen it. All of this sand and bullshit. I don't get it. Oh, blah, blah, blah. We're going to call the uh, police. I figured good. Call the fucking police. They'll be able to figure this out not knowing who the Long Branch police are. Bunch of scumbags. Murderers, thieves, rapists, child molesters, killers. So they call Long Branch Police Department. Who shows up? Tudor, finest Kevlar coated turds, Officer D. Page. Yeah, that's right, Page. D. Page. That. I don't know what the hell she is, or, or if she can even be called a she. So uh, I imagine that's up in the air. Uh, she doesn't waste any time. I'm sitting in a wheelchair, waiting for them to approach me and say, hey, how can we help you? What seems to be... First words out of her fucking mouth. This is Officer D. Page. First words out of her mouth, if you don't get out of that fucking wheelchair, I am going to arrest you and you're not going to like that. Remember, if you do not get out of that wheelchair, why would she say, it, say that if I wasn't in a wheelchair? <clears throat> so, this stupid, and I suspect she's poking herself with steroids. Uh, she's gonna start threatening me right off the bat. Telling me fuck myself and this and that. But that's the way the Long Branch police are, they're scum. 
the, the whole the whole department everything everyone in there so finally after trying to make sense of this whole situation I said look this is what happened I said could you at least call a cab I don't know any cab companies around here I don't know shit about this area and what I'm learning about this I don't exactly like so they call a cab I got two shots of morphine in me and my legs are wrapped up over my knees how am I going to get into a cab? I can't even bend my legs. I says, look, I says, if, uh, you know, we're going to get this done, you got to help me get into this cab. I says, go onto the opposite side of the cab, open the door, and just pull me through across the back seat. Finally, 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 after, oh, man, it seemed like forever, they pulled me across the back seat, and I said, hey, now, Listen, I said, you see what we just had to go through to get me into the cab? I said, how do you expect me to get out of the cab without help? Kevlar coated turd logic? They can't figure it out. I said, well, I said, how about my apartment's, uh, you know, five blocks away, six blocks away from, you know, Monmouth Medical Center. Be careful if you ever have to go in there. Uh, so I says, meet me over at the apartment complex at least, you know, you can help me out of the cab and, you know, help me get up to my apartment. Oh, yeah, boom, 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 get into the, get into the cab, cab pulls up in front of my apartment. And sure enough, thank you, sure enough, the Long Branch police, and it was her, D. Page, and that other little moron tub of guts. Oh, uh, get out. They helped me out of the cab, helped me into the front of the building. Not literally, <laughs> which I'm sure they wanted to. Uh, and uh, I make it up to my apartment. But that's the, that's the Mischief Night Halloween story from from these long branch turds. Now the other day, I went down to the uh, main office of the apartment building here to ask them, and this place has been cited multiple times for black mold issues. It's not good. You wanna talk about diseases and neurotoxins, start looking at black mold and I'm covered with it covered with it. So I go down to, hey, we got a, another mold issue coming up, and you got a safety issue, because you got the windows open, and you know, sometimes there's children playing around. I don't want to see one of them children go out the window. You know, especially when you're responsible for it, because you just do the maintenance and fix that window. So the uh, janitor, and he stinks. Holy mackerel. He smells like somebody put out four or five hundred nasty cheap cigars in an overripe litter box. I'm serious. So he comes up around behind me and from behind me appears on my left side and gets in uh, between me and the property manager. And he said, oh, you're rude, you're rude. And that's when the smell hit me. Holy mackerel. How the hell do you leave home where I imagine he lives under a bridge with rabid goats uh, in order to smell like that? How do you leave home smelling like that? And if you work at that apartment complex, what the hell is your excuse for going into people's apartments smelling like that. You think it's easy to get the smell of bum? I mean, filthy, dirty, stinking bum out of those apartments? It's not. It lingers for days and days. So I told him, look, I'm just gonna call corporate headquarters. And I know somebody in corporate for this complex. 
and the guy happens to be a decent guy. So, when I told the janitor, I said, hey, I'm going to call corporate and tell, and this, this stinks. This is wall-to-wall -wall dead fish here. Look at that. All, all of those white dots, that's dead fish. And what you don't see is way back up in the weeds, when this tide is higher, dead fish. This water is loaded with bacteria. Oh, so, uh, oh, I'm going to, you know, call corporate and, you know, report this incident because I know what kind of jerk-offs they are. And uh, the janitor says to me, go ahead, go ahead, I don't care. Call, call corporate. Call corporate. Okay. And I call corporate, this is what's going on. And they had the security cameras fixed within the last two years. So what I explained to corporate, they were following right along on their video. So what does the property manager do at a Gregory school? The one that was so offended and the janitor? They call Long Branch Police. The Long Branch Police, again, they got a vibe. They're, they're the feelings police. Somebody's feelings Stinky the janitor, his feelings were hurt. So we have to have an armed response because I smell so goddamn bad. The next thing is death. We'll get, oh, we'll get some armed cops up here. We'll waste taxpayers' money. We're gonna escalate, 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 escalate. That's what we do. So, as I told you, I asked those two dildos for a uh, warrant. Have no warrant, good fuck yourself. First Amendment protected speech. Fuck your self piggies. And as you know, if you follow any of these accountability sites, Cops always got to have the last word. Well, here's the deal. Well, here's the deal. Here's the fucking deal. Shut the fuck up. Get in your goddamn car that we paid for and drive the fuck off. You got no business here. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, have a nice day. Have a nice day. Hey, how about you fuck yourself and get the fuck out of here? So I'm going to get the date of that and uh, I'll have, I'm going to try and get a copy of the police report so I can post that the right day. Thank you, nice citizen. <laughs> some good people here. Not many, but some. So I just wanted to see how this works. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And uh, as far as the death threats go, I've been receiving uh, death threats. But too old to run. And besides, I just don't run anymore. I stopped running a long time ago. Can only kill me once, as far as I know. So, 24 minutes, Jesus Christ. I'd like to thank all the subs. Thanks, guys. Thank you. I'd like to thank New Jersey Exposed. I'd like to thank Disorderly Product News, Johnny 5-0. Ebor City Rab down in Tampa. Give those people a look, see? You see what the real heroes are doing. Not these Kevlar coated turds. 
You see what the real heroes are doing. They're walking around with a cell phone. A cell phone. Walking amongst the most deadly of deadly people. Cops. Cops with a false sense of entitlement. They say, oh, you got to respect us. You got to respect us. Listen, dopes. You don't get respect. You earn respect. And so far in Long Branch, you're just digging a hole that you can't, you, you can't get out of. You can't. So all you got to do is double down. And here's the other uh, reality. I'm a senior citizen. So these Kevlar coated turds, and this is overrun. This is overrun with illegals down here. These Kevlar coated turds won't do anything about real crime in this area. Them running, them getting drunk and running people over, killing them, violating people's rights. They won't do anything about that. But they will come to a disabled senior's home and try to remove his First Amendment rights, try to violate his Fourth Amendment rights. That's what they got to do. All the taxpayer money, and there's bootlickers out there, bootlickers. Listen, there's room for improvement in your field of bootlicking. If you just get up on your knees a little bit, you could move on to the field of scrotum licking and 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 uh, <laughs> using your tongue for toilet paper instead of wagging. So hopefully this video, it's a new phone, looks good. I put a screen protector on the lenses. I hope no halos or anything show up in the screen protectors. Anyway, thank you so much, subs. Uh, have a safe spring. See, we got this. Let's see. Oh, oh, I got 10 seconds. To geezer across here. Let's see if I make it. Yep, 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 yep. So far, so far. Making it, making it. Geezer across the street. Have a very safe spring and summer. And hopefully I'll be <laughs> ranting some more. It's the only thing I got left. Anyway, I'm out.